Now let's discuss a condition that is commonly related to a lateral ankle sprain, and that is cuboid syndrome. So what exactly is cuboid syndrome? It basically involves the cuboid, and in 7% of people who have suffered a lateral ankle sprain, they'll also suffer cuboid syndrome. In the dance community, that exponentially increases, especially in ballet dancers, up to about 17% of dancers will suffer this. So what exactly is it? We're looking at the cuboid bone, and basically when the ankle goes into an inversion type sprain, sometimes this cuboid will actually shift from its normal position and it gets stuck within its range of motion and it can be quite painful. Common symptoms would be pain either above or below the cuboid, lateral foot pain, sometimes you'll get pain along the peroneal tendons right here, and you'll notice it especially in toe-off or plantar flexion during the normal gait cycle or sometimes with impact. So it's definitely a condition that you want to consider with a lateral ankle sprain. Now if we suspect cuboid syndrome, there's two tests we're going to perform. One being the mid-tarsal adduction test and the second one is the mid-tarsal supination test. So starting out with the adduction test, we're going to stabilize the joint and the subtalar joint here, the ankle, and we're going to create adduction, adduction in a transverse plane. So like this. So this is the mid-tarsal adduction test to do it one more time. So once again, it's adduction in the transverse plane. Now the second one, we're basically going to create supination. So we're stabilizing the limb. We're going to create plantar flexion, adduction, and inversion. So we're starting out and we're creating supination of the foot. And this is the mid-tarsal supination test. There we go. Good.